Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday morning the 7th of July and we're going to come and read together this morning Psalm 18. It's a longer psalm this morning um, so we're just going to read it all to begin with. So let's hear Psalm 18. I love you Lord, you are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my saviour. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield the power that saves me and my place of safety. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise and he saved me from my enemies. The ropes of death entangled me, floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death led a trap in my path. But in my distress I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from a sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. Then the earth quaked and trembled, the foundation of the mountain shook, the quake because of his anger. Smoke poured from his nostrils, fierce flames leapt from his mouth, glowing coals blazed forth from him. He opened the heavens and came down, dark storm clouds were beneath his feet. Mounted on a mighty angelic being, he flew, soaring on the wings of the wind. He shrouded himself in darkness, veiling his approach with dark rain clouds. Thick clouds shielded the brightness around him and rained down hail and burning coal. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded amid the hail and burning coals. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. His lightning flashed and they were greatly confused. At your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep water. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his decrees. I am blameless before God. I have kept myself from sin. The Lord re rewarded me for doing good. He has seen my innocence. To the faithful, he showed yourself you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show integrity. To the pure, you show, your, you show yourself pure. But to the wicked, you show yourself hostile. You rescue the humble, but you hum humiliate the proud. You light a lamp for me. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. In my strength, I can crush an army. With my God, I can scale any wall. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God arms me with strength. He makes my way perfect. He makes me as sure-footed as, sure as a deer, enabling me to stand on mountain heights. He trains my hand for battle. He strengthens my arms to draw a bronze bow. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. You have made a wide path for my feet to keep them from slipping. I chased my enemies and caught them. I did not stop until they were all conquered. I struck them down so they could not get up. They fell beneath my feet. You have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued my enemies under my feet. You place my foot on their necks. I have destroyed all who hated me. They called for help, but no one came to, to their rescue. They even cried to the Lord, but he refused to answer. I ground them as fine as dust in the wind. I swept them into the gutter like dirt. You gave me victory over my accusers. You appointed my ruler you appointed me ruler over nations. People I don't even know now serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they submit foreign nations cringe before me. They all lose their courage and come trembling from their strongholds. 
The Lord lives. Praise to my rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. He is a God who pays back those who harm me. He subdues the nations under me. He rescues me from my enemies. You hold me safe beyond the reach of my enemies. You save me from my violent opponents. For this, O Lord, I will praise you. Among the nations, I will sing praises to your name. You give great victories to your king. You show unfailing love to your anointed, to David and all his descendants forever. Amen. Again, another Psalm of David. Um, a lot longer this time as he praises God. It's thought that uh, this Psalm was written after a time whenever uh, David's enemies had been defeated and Saul as well. As he praises and thanks God for all his help and all his strength and for what he has done for him. But it's interesting just as you read through it. You see even in this Psalm of Praise the ups and downs. But verse 16, he reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. Just that sense that God knew what was going on and reached down and pulled David from deep waters, from a place of danger, a place that could very easily uh, overcome him. But God didn't let that happen. I know even as you look further down, um, another verse which links in with the theme from Sunday, you light a lamp for me. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. Again, darkness being seen as the evil that is around. Darkness being seen as the place where you don't want to be. Um, striving to get into the light. And how it says, you light a lamp. Talking about God. In your strength I can crush an army. With God I can scale any wall. With God nothing is impossible. With God all things are possible. It's just that sense throughout the way through that psalm as, as David praises God of, of the closeness, the nearness of God, the understanding of God, um, that he knows exactly what's happening. You know, it's the same for us. We talk about how God will not let us endure something which is too much for us, that God is always there, he will always step in. And that's true, and that's what David praises um, God for uh, in that this morning. We're never overwhelmed to a point where God can't help us. We're never so downtrodden that God can't bring us back up again. Sin doesn't have that power over us because God is in control and God has that power, only God. So, yeah, maybe you feel this morning that you're in deep waters. Just remember verse 16. He reached down from heaven and he rescued me. Remember all the, the promises that were given to David and at the very end he says you give great victories to your king you show unfailing love to your anointed to David and all his descendants forever David praises God knowing that he can trust the promises of the Lord that doesn't mean to say we go off and do our own thing every time David did that he found himself under bother and he found himself being chastised by God and being told off we have still got something to do we still need to strive to walk for God that's what David during these times whenever he stays faithful to God yes things at times get really hard for him things get very difficult things get very dangerous but God is always with him let us always hold on to God always hold on to the promises that he's given us and always find that reason that we can praise God and give thanks to him for his goodness and for his answered prayers so let's pray this morning. Father, again, thank you for your psalms. Thank you as we read them. We can identify with them. We can see um, human emotion and feeling being poured out. We can see suffering, but we can also see thanksgiving. Lord, we can see where you step in, where you rescue, where you help, where you protect, where you defeat um, those who are evil and you would defeat sin and then David is able to praise you for that Lord we can do the same as we look back at our lives we can see those times which were difficult times whenever you very much held us very much rescued us where you lifted us out of deep waters where you put our feet upon solid ground and Lord we thank you that you will always do that 
Just help us, Lord, to have the faith to reach up and take your hand. Lord, not to try to do this on our own. Because, Lord, it's really easy for us to try and do that. So help us always to reach out to you, knowing that you're there. That you want to save us and rescue us. Lord, thank you for another day. Thank you for looking after us through the, this, the evening and bringing us into this day. Even if we can follow you, worship you, um, do what you have called us to do. Lord, whatever circumstances we find ourselves in this day, help us just to draw that strength from you and to rely upon you. Help us to turn to you um, with our decisions and seek your will. And then, Lord, help us to follow you. So, Father, thank you. And continue with us this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Lovely to have you here. Um, trust that, again, today is a blessed day for you. A day whenever you stay safe. Um, a day whenever you can maybe catch up with friends at a social distance or whatever, or family. Um, but whatever you're doing today, uh, may you truly know God's blessing. And we'll meet up again tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Take care. Bye.